how to create how to write a function to compute the dot product of two vectors in Excel VBA. Now, these are two vectors. You have vector A and vector B. So now we need to write a user defined function that will do a dot product of these two vectors. You know, the, the dot product of two vectors will give you a skyline value without any direction. So now we're going to go into our visual basic environment. So how to go to in into a visual basic environment is to right click, select customize ribbon. If this developer tab is unchecked, you check it. Developer um, box is unchecked, you check it and click OK. Another way is to click this file name, go to option, select customize ribbon, check this unchecked box, click OK. You will see the developer tab showing on, on your Excel main tab. So now we are going to select, for us to go to into the visual basic environment, to select the, the developer tab, click the visual basic button. Now, I will click the visual basic button. Now, we select this VBA project C.8. Now, there are two other Excel that is open. Let me close this one. So, that this say it will be only VBA 8 that is showing. So now this is model 4 that is showing here. Look at the name here, model 4. So we're going to create this function inside model 4. So what I will do now is to write function. Now the name of the function I, I will, will be dot underscore product brackets open vec a as object press the tab key press command v b as object press the tab key close the brackets enter now the next thing i'm going to do now is to define the variables i'm going to use so i'm going to use two variables i will define them i will use my name which is uche as one of the variables Comma, I will use R as row, the number of row, that is the row count. So this should be as long. Well, let me make them all or long. Uh, I should have make arrow integer. Okay, let me enter. Let me remove this arrow here. I'm putting some number. Okay, now I'm now say D arrow as integer but if i use it as long it will still be to still give me the same results now the next thing i'll do is to use for next statement so for r equal to one two three so it's one to three because we have three the number of um, cells, the number of uh, elements in a vector is three. You have the x, the y, and the z axis. So it's not more than three. So that is why this three is a constant. That is what we do. So now, you know, by default, by default, we need to we need to tell the visual basic that we are starting from one so we need to put in option base one so that this thing will start from one to three because if you didn't put this it will count zero will be there to count zero to three now so we needed to put this to specify where we're counting from so now what I will now do next is I will say now, but before I do this, 
I will say which is equal to zero. Now which will now be equal to which plus vector a dot cell bracket open you have arrow comma one bracket close times vector b dot cells bracket open arrow comma one bracket close enter now I'll press the shift and tab key to return the cursor back to the line with the form. So I'll write right now next uh, so now enter. Now I will now put in the statement that returns the value of the function by writing dots. I will now select control space bar to complete the name and say equal to which so this is the way to write it now let me explain why that is a formula for a vector uh, um, for dot products now now if you say the dot product of vector a and vector b is equal to now if you have i a one plus j a two plus k a three dot dot i a um sorry dot b I dot B one plus J B two plus K B three. Now this times six will give you I dot I A one times B one. Now this times this now having known that i dot j is equal to zero i dot k is equal to zero i dot i is equal to one now this other terms multiplying with i a one is zero so there is no need to state them now we we'll now do the next one so that means the same applicable to j because this i dot j is the same thing as j j dot i and i dot k is the same thing as k dot i So, which is equal to zero. So, all this is equal to zero. So, meaning that I dot I A2 times B2 plus K dot K A3 B3. So, you are now left with A1 B1 plus A2 B2 plus a3 b3 so so this is the dot product of so this is dot product so now by a general formula i will now say summation the n is equal to 3 there is also lose 3 now i starts from one you have a i b i so this is the general formula for dots product of two vectors so you have v 
a vector a with vector b with dot vector b so this is a formula the general formula so the general formula is summation a i b times b i starting with i equal to one and the number of n value is three right. so this is the formula for dot product so that is what we did there that is what was stated there so let's try the formula now but let's solve this manually now you have you have vector you have vector a equal to 2i z minus let me check 2i minus 4j plus 4k then vector b is equal to 4i minus k plus 3k let me check plus 3k so now to do this that means vector a dot vector b will now be 2 times 4 plus minus 4 times 3 okay minus 4 times 0 plus minus 4 times 0 now the next one you have 4 times 3 so this is 8 plus 0 plus 12 so this will give you 20 if you sum them together now for dot product this is this will give you 20 now let's look at our function the user the user defined function whether it will give us the same value as 20 now we now say equal to equal to dot dot product of this value comma this value all brackets enter so it gives us 20 the same value that the manual calculation gave us so that means it's correct so now thank you for watching to the end have a nice day and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that if i make new videos you'll be the first to see it and also do well to help to share the videos thank you